What is going on y'all, this is your boy Freddy and once again we're back at it filming another video In today's video we're breaking down all the shocking details dealing with 21 Savage's recent arrest in Atlanta over Super Bowl weekend as ISIS has been came for his ass Now before we do any of that, before we get to talking about all the good I need y'all to make sure y'all hit like, subscribe, and that bell notification. Go on there and hit it. Hit it right now. Hit it right now, buddy. Come on. Come on. We waiting. Okay, y'all. If you were on the internet like I was on the internet because I couldn't leave the house, shout out to everybody that was sending me your well wishes, your thoughts, your prayers. Your boy here was taken out of here. Lord Jesus, I went to have me some of that bad liquor. Woo. And I had to go to the hospital like three, four times. So just, I just want to tell y'all thank you. It, it means a lot. It means a lot because it's just... It, it sucks sometimes looking at the world and how the world you think people don't really care, but then you find out they do. They do give a damn. Thank you. So I was at home minding my own bed. I got a phone call. Yo, they talk about 21 is locked the fuck up. And I was like, what? Yeah, Freddie, him and some other man, they out here on the side of the road. ISIS done got their ass. What? Yeah, Freddie, it ain't really looking that good for him. They talking about he ain't even from here. So this is where our story gonna start, y'all. I'm finding out like the rest of the world that 21 Savage is not a United States citizen. Now I have been to every single back to school drive this young man, philanthropist, entrepreneur. But I've been to all of his events and watched him give back to the community in ways that I was just very impressed by. He did a back to school drive, gave out to kids, families. I'm gonna read to you what they are saying happened now. These are from facts. I saw several people are reporting horribly false information. One dude was even reporting that his girlfriend had called the cops on him and she reported him to ISIS. And I was like, where do y'all get these facts from? Because clearly you ain't talked to nobody. Which I want to make sure y'all understand the information that I bring to you all. 90% of the time is correct. And I'm getting it not from individuals who are on the internet, but from the source's mouth. The artists or their cousins. Or maybe the cousins of the artists that don't really like them and they wanted to just fill us in. But this is what my sources are telling me. The U.S. Immigrations and Custody Enforcement Agency took Shia Ben Abraham Joseph, better known as the rapper 21 Savage, into custody Sunday morning in Atlanta, y'all. Now, they thought that the rapper was an American citizen when they first pulled him over. He was in the car with this other up-and-coming rapper. This is the guy right here. They were in the car, they smelled weed, they smelled drugs, they pulled them over. Now at first they didn't know what was going on. They was like 21, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And then they started researching. They said, 21, you wanna call with a, another convicted criminal? I don't think he can do that, y'all. Considering he was convicted for a felony back in 2014. If you out of the hood, run. But anyway, let me go back to the store. He was in the car, him and the other guy. Cops pulled him over, started running, background checks, running everything that they can to lock a brother down. Cause you know how they do to do. We're not saying thing, but we just say you know how they like to do. Anyway, the, he was in the car, he was like, I'm good, I'm good, bro. You 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 might not be there. Rest in home, boy. Then they came back for 21. They were like, y'all. We gonna get you. And they came back and they found out the worst of worse than anything that they could possibly have found out that that man, he been illegal since 2006. 21 who is originally from the United Kingdom has basically overstayed his visa y'all and his visa expired in 2006. He originally came to the US back in 2005 when he got his first original visa. But I'm quite sure he might have come maybe before then he says. Now I was under the impression that he had grew up in Decatur cause we just went to his event at the motel. I'ma leave a link down there. You can see my recap from Motel 21 right, well, right down there down below. But I always assumed that he was from Decatur, Georgia. Decatur, where it's greater. But apparently he's from the UK. In addition to violating federal immigration laws, Mr. Abraham Joseph was convicted on felony drug charges back in October 2014 in the Fulton County, Georgia's court. The rapper was placed on removal proceedings before the immigration's courts, and ICE will be waiting on the outcome of his trial to tell you what they gonna do. 
So many different celebrities have reached out and pouring their support for 21, y'all, including the Omigos, CEO, who was like, y'all, I want us to come together. If you got a check, get all your money together. We gonna buy him the best immigration attorney out possible. All kind of rappers across the country reached out to show their love and support. Check out what some of the rappers had to say. The charges came as a surprise to many fans who thought the rapper was from Georgia, who often talked about the hood apartments that he stayed in in Atlanta, shall we say, Decatur, Georgia, y'all. So really, we were like, oh, I guess not. Now, y'all, we was like, we know 21 is here because he got expelled from the Carroll County schools, or at least that way he took the Fader magazine in the seventh grade. He was kicked out for having a gun in school, y'all. So it wasn't like we ever, or we had any reason to feel like this man was from overseas, but apparently he was. Now Demi Lovato found out the hard way you cannot come for 21's fans without having repercussions and consequences. And that's apparently what she had because after making a horrible statement here, let's put up what she said. Let's just say she said what she said. Unfortunately for her mental esteem and her Twitter, Instagram, and all of that, she decided to take it down after she found out, um, yeah, the 21 fans ain't having it, baby. They ain't having it at all. That's just like what my mama said. If you ain't got nothing nice, boy, you better shut your mouth. And they came all on Demi Lovato's Instagram and let her know, baby. They gonna take y'all. You better shut up. Shut it up. So she decided to delete all social media because she knew they were gonna come for her. Yo, so I really wanna know how y'all feel about this situation because I feel like so many times the artists that we love, they still continuously put themselves in horrible situations. Now, of course, this is a situation that he might not have known if he got here when he was 13 years old. I'm quite sure you're not thinking. You're probably thinking your parents have handled all of that and so I could see how it possibly could slip your mind that you forgot to fill out your uh, green card paperwork but I want to know what y'all think because y'all are the people that matter to me you know if you know and I know that we know together you know what I mean but leave me a comment down below tell me what you think make sure you hit the like subscribe and that bell notification and most importantly y'all I need y'all on freddyo.com f-r-e-d-d-y-o.com baby every single day of the week all right, we out, we out, we out. But leave me a comment. I need to know what you're thinking, how you're feeling, if you're really here. I love y'all. We gonna make some more videos. We back. We feeling better. And we gonna keep it blessed. All right, we out. Make sure y'all leave a comment. All right, we out.